Okay, uh, the next question that we got on the menu today is how do we find the radius of a semicircle? Well, a semicircle, believe it or not, is a circle, but we're going to cut that in half. Uh, we'll actually uh, draw a line through here, a straight line. So all of this is disqualified. And here, in the blue, we just got our semicircle. The radius of a semicircle, or any circle for that matter, is always going to be the distance between uh, the center, R, so R is radius, is the distance between the center and one edge of the circle. center and one edge and any edge or side of the circle. Now the radius measured that way is the precisely the same as the radius measured this way which is precisely the same as the radius measured this way. So regardless of if it's a full circle if we disqualify half the circle and call it a semicircle, if we were to disqualify 95% of the circle, we're left with a small pizza slice like this, um, it would still have a radius like this. That would still be R. Okay, so no matter how much, how complete the circle is, the radius is always the same. The radius defines like the curvature of the, um, of the, of the circle. A larger radius will mean like it's curving more slowly so you know the earth has such a large radius that you know we can kind of say that the surface is pretty much flat we don't feel the curvature on the surface of the earth because the radius of this earth is so large don't believe any flat earthers and um maybe for something small a radius of something small like a grape um, a grape has, you can definitely see and interpret the curvature on it because it has a smaller radius. So radius is kind of like an indirect way of knowing the degree that there's curvature in a uh, circle. It's always the same, whether it's a full circle or half circle. You can measure it this way, you can measure it straight up, you can measure it at any angle you like. Radius always going to be the same. I promise you. Yeah. Now radius of a semicircle well it also depends on like if you're given the information about the semicircle like if you're given the area um you could isolate for the uh the radius as follows so let's say we have area is equal to pi r squared divided by two and divide by two is because because uh, one half circle you could solve for the area, uh, I mean solve for the radius by doing this. So multiply by two, both sides by 2, so 2a, two and divide both sides by pi, and take the square root, and that will just be r. So suppose that you just have the area, um, you, could, you could solve for the radius using this equation. Double the area, divide by pi, take the square root, and um, you'll get your radius. And then you can give yourself a big high five. So yeah. Solution is good. Question. Ideally, I mentioned conditions more info on how is known before needing to find the radius of a semi circle. Okay, awesome. <laughs>